Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the Morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Kutras Umayyan. Beginning of, of Maimer Tess, Perak Gimel. Before we start, we'll give some tzedakah. Gedele tzedakah, shemakar es zagaula. And we have this whole series is in honor of all the Yudin in Eretz Yisrael. For the safety and security, and especially the soldiers and the, and the hostages, that Amit Hashem should come back safely and, and there should be true peace. Peace, meaning, should be safe for the Yid and Eretz Yisrael. They should live comfortably and safely, not having to worry about any of their enemies that are that are around them. And we're going to focus on Yeshiv Yitzhak Ben Simcha and for Rumi Bat Mariv, that Amit Hashem should be good, it should be safe, and only good things. Okay, so we started Perik Gimel. And we said, essentially, with, we're discussing today, we're going to go through Perik, in Perik Gimel, this contrast between Ishtashlus and why in Seder Ishtashlus there needs to be four orders of, of the way it works. It's uh, being exact, Meduyak, Din Vecheshben. And then we're going to hopefully, with the time, if we have enough time today, we're going to go through, the, in contrast to <laughs> so yeah, so we started talking about that that there's four reasons, and we're and we're descri- we're explaining the four reasons why there is din v'cheshen, there's reckoning. Everything has to be meduyek, exact. You know, or, uh, an accountant. It's like I have to say the accountant joke that I know from my garden that that there was a guy that once he went around asking, "What does one plus one equals?" So he goes to you know the first guy, the second guy, he goes to the accountant, the accountant turns, closes all the blinds, he whispers to his ear, he goes, How much do you want it to equal? So by Sadish everything is with a din and cheshbin, all calculated. So he said the first reason is because of the inner light that <coughs> that every every light has its nature that has to go together with it. So you have the nature of the mechin, the intellect is more cold and more calm and settled. So that light has to be tailored towards that. Whereas the whereas the light that goes into the nature of, of the heart with which is emotion is more fiery. So everything has its place. It has to go to, directly to its place. So now we're going to the second one. And the second one is the teva. Haseder hu teva acheshbin. The the nature of order is that it's it's with a cheshbin, vadiuk. The kamos echus, quality and quantity. Another another nature of order and and din v'cheshbon is that we have to calculate how much the person be getting. You know, being healthy, you have to know you know how much like a, 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 a athlete has to know how much calories be intaking versus how much they're outputting with their exercise or whatever it is. And so too in seder shtarshlos, when it's all in seder shtarshlos, that, that's how it works. It's, it has to work things out very meduyik. You can't just give more, you know, especially let's say someone's sick, you can't give them too much of something or too little of something, you have to be very careful. And the third reason is the Eres Hamislabshim Bakalim, the lights that are enclosed in the vessels, he name Afgam Kasher, Klalus Hakeli, Masimim, Elaer, even if the general um, vessel fits the light, yeah. I'll give you an example soon. Just like the, the stuff of the brain. Which the brain is made to receive intellect. So that's where intellect works. And the seat of the heart. Which is in general, in a general sense, the, the place for the emotions. Nevertheless, it has to be very exact. The light of the seichel. The way it goes into, into the mind. And a simple example of this is if you have an outlook, you know, in every house, and every apartment, you have breakers. Because even though you have the plug that goes towards, to the right, to the right outlet, Sometimes it over it's being overworked or something, and so it breaks it. So it has to be exact. 
that it doesn't happen that that it doesn't over overwork itself. So everything has to be very meduic. And therefore, in your midos, in regards to the emotions, the im loy chain, the chain, the chain in your midos. So to the emotions, the same way that everything has to be exact, because even though in general you'll have the 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 mind is is a seat for intellect, but it has to be very very tailored the amount of light that goes in. Why? Because the im loy chain, if it doesn't work this way, and it's not very much tailored, hare hakelim. The, the the vessels, the, the, the ability of the brain, and, and of the heart, they won't be able to receive the, the abundant light. And then it gets and it gets ruined. And we see clearly. Like unfortunately, God forbid, some people that are, are un, unwell in their mind, like mental health, and also in the heart. Why does that happen? This is a, this is a phenomenal idea. But why does it happen? People have mental health issues or, or, or issues, emotional issues, things like this, because you have the, the, the vessel and the light don't, don't, aren't in sync. There's too much light and not enough vessel. And Meaning, meaning, when you look at someone with special needs, let's say, or, or, or we deal with the mental health, so we think to ourselves, we have a problem, and we think it's, it's in a negative sense. But really, what was what the Rebbe Rashab is saying, we have a problem, and that problem is the the too much light and not enough vessel. So it's it's a problem, but coming from like a positive place. And I think I think I think um, from. Yeah, Shays Tab says in his, he has a book, um, The God of Our Understanding, talks about uh, addiction. And his point is very is like this, probably where he got it from. <laughs> or many other, I'm sure many other places in the Chassidus talks about this, that the, that the addiction comes from a person who's too spiritually sensitive. Meaning, there's a lot of err, uh, not enough kli, and we don't have, and they don't have the kli, the keli, the vessel to receive this, to, to, to be able to, to hold it properly. And that's why, and that's why the main point we're trying to bring here is a Seder Shtarshalus has to be very meduyak. Because if he doesn't, then you have health, mental health issues. You have emotional issues. And especially in our generation, you could say, because we're, we're a lot more sensitive to this. And we have to work on realizing if we, so meaning a simple sense, if we have these issues, we feel mental health issues or emotional issues, especially now with our phones, it's unfortunately... The phone is the, be- is the best thing to happen and the worst thing to happen at the same time. So if we're getting stuck with all these emotional and mental health issues, we have to realize it's because we have to be more sensitive to ourselves and, and sensitive and working on our connection with Hashem to build that clear, that vessel to receive the light. Which means in simple sense, I think it means what we're saying here, that, that we're a lot more sensitive to ourselves and which means we need a lot more dabbling and learning and a lot more doing good things and helping people and being a shining light to the world around us. And that will help counterbalance, will, will make our clip bigger. Of course, someone needs to go to a therapist or something. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying in the simple things we can do now, and what, what we're learning here is, and how to, how to look at the perspective is not, I have something wrong with me, is that I have a lot of err, a lot of light, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of light, not enough kaolin. Just like the breaker, it breaks, and you have to re-switch everything on. You have to fix it because there's too much energy coming in. So too with us, we have so much energy. So we have to try to make our vessels bigger. <laughs> and that's that's the third. That's that's because the lights that go into the Kaylee has to be tailored properly. Otherwise, it causes problems. And so the fourth is is the 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 descent. The er shinyanei lehish starshal. The dagger, Shalamati Menu, because the light has to go to a level lower than it. Hare Behekra Shahur Yiya Mechushban Umuduyak the fi gaido veroikavakli. It has to be organized according because the Seder Stash is going down from levels. So the process has to be very exact. Because the Lula is there without doing it exactly. Besides the fact, not only will the vessel not be able to receive the light because it's going to a low level and the light is, is still too powerful. 
Ella Oedel, but even more, Shehaer Me'abir Saklim. Um, Meshabra, and it breaks it. It won't be able to handle it, and it'll be too strong. It's like trying to take a, a cup, trying to get from uh, Mount Ever- um, uh, Niagara Falls. Your cup's going to break. You know, it's going to slip out of your hand. It just doesn't work. You have to, it has to go through all the Seder stars from Niagara Falls, and it goes to smaller rivers, and it goes to whatever that we get the water from, and it goes to the pipes, and all the way, until we get to our top. You turn it on, and a little bit comes out perfectly. And that's a whole. That's a whole state of That's a whole. That's how it goes. Process is slowly descending to to make it palpable for us. But if we don't, if we miss one of the steps, it doesn't work. Yeah, like we see clearly. For example, one of the famous examples that this always uses is a teacher and a student. So when the teacher. He's going to teach and he's not going to estimate and, and try to figure out where the student is actually holding. And he's just going to teach the way he understands it, the way he or she understands it, and just give it the way they, they get it. Not only will the, will the student not be able to receive what is being given, it's like a, it's like a preschool teacher. You know, you come to teach something. And you're just gonna, you're not gonna bring it down to the level of the of the students. Not only when they should not get anything, El Oedza is even more shekle sirkle misbalbulim. You can confuse them. And this is sort of the biggest issue. They're not just they're not getting the information, they're getting more confused. And that's the worst. But Tama Dava, the reason is who the khal ur mishtalsha midarga la darga. Shalomatu yimeno, because it's a seder shtalsha, the light. Is going low and low and being diffused and being contracted more, so we're able to receive it. Here, and it has to be according to that level. And as in the case of the teacher and the student, the teacher has to understand the level of the student. And if not, it just doesn't work. And 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 not just and we're saying not just doesn't work that the student won't get anything; it'll get worse. And and another a simple example of it is is a kid could get the feeling of they're not they don't understand anything; they're not smart enough, or it's too hard. Whatever negative outcomes can come from it, so it's very important that the teacher tailor the class towards the levels of the students, and especially nowadays when you have a classroom with many kids, it's very difficult and it's a very challenging. That's why being a teacher is a very special, unique job. And if you're good at it, it's an obligation because it's hard. Now, so that's that's these four levels. Just we'll go over them quickly, and I'll probably stop here. And tomorrow we'll talk about, in contrast to La Maila Misere what we're saying is, is, is there's four reasons why when it comes to Seder Ishtashlus, and now also hopefully through learning this, we have a better understanding when we talk about Seder Ishtashlus, it doesn't mean some random concept, Seder Ishtashlus, a chain-like descent, whatever that means. Now it means something we can sort of understand it, that it's being organized and orderly and, and making sure everything comes in its right way. And we said there's four, and, and the Seder Ishtashlus is with a din, the cheshben. Judgment has to be exact. If you have you know, in the process of, of the electricity going into your house, if it's not gone through the whole process of the Seder Shtashas from the, from the power plant all the way down to us, and you skip a step, it won't work. It won't have an electricity. And there's four reasons. We said one is because the light is inner. So, and, and, and that light has an essential nature. So in, in my house, my electricity outlet needs to match my clear, which is my plug, that's one reason, because otherwise it's not going to work properly. And the second thing is, it's because it's everything's within order. So it has to be the amount, quality, and quantity. The third thing is that the light goes into the vessel, and so and, and the vessel and the light have to match. And if they don't match, it doesn't work. Or there's too much light coming into the vessel, it's not going to work either way. Like we talked about the mental health, and yeah, and emotional health it doesn't work if it doesn't have that connection that it's not tailored properly. And then we talked about, because of that also, we should make sure to make our keli bigger for having these issues, maybe trying to help ourselves and making our keli bigger by doing ter mitzvahs and trying to help people and being being the person that, that is try to help makes a big difference. And then we should also, the fourth reason from the descent that it happens, that it's going through all this descent and like a teacher and a student, that teacher is descending that information to the students and they have to tailor it exactly towards the student because not just if they don't do that, or they don't do it well, 
they shouldn't want to receive anything. Even worse, they shouldn't get confused, and it can and it can it can unfortunately ruin them. Beautiful stuff. Mitzvah and tomorrow we'll talk about how it goes. Lamay Mercedes Tashlus. The opposite, in contrast to this. Have an amazing day, everybody.